Hey guys, welcome back to One All's Pub. All right, on the uh, bar top in front of you tonight is uh, what I consider to be um, a truly essential EDC item. And uh, the reason I decided to do, to do this video tonight is because I forgot to take this with me today and I missed it all day. It drove me crazy. I needed it. A couple times I could have used it and it just irked me that I'd left it at home uh, in my Pelican case. And uh, that item is, of course, if you can't read it from there, the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Uh, there's a lot of Leatherman uh, out there, and I own several others. Um, this is the smallest that I own, and um, but it's also one that I carry the most. Uh, I, uh, another one I carry, I used to carry a lot, is the uh, Juice S2. Um, uh, I used to actually, originally, my first Le Leatherman ever was a Micra. Uh, and I like that a lot. I kept it on my keychain back when I used to just like to put all kinds of crap on my keychain, um, which I don't like to do anymore, really. Um, but uh, I used to carry that on my keychain, uh, and then I lost it somehow. I don't remember how, but um, and then went for quite a while without it and just had like Swiss Army knife, like the classic. Uh, instead, I put that on the keychain, which is a, a nice little knife and uh, multi-tool, too, because it's got some items on it that are pretty nice. Um, but... Uh, and then I got some bigger Leathermans and whatnot and kind of went through those and the, 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 the Juice S2, which I'll probably do a review of as well because I do like that tool a lot. Uh, it's my second favorite probably behind the uh, the Squirt here. Um, but uh, when I got this, uh, the Juice S2 just kind of went uh, uh, into the uh, went into my EDC bag, as a matter of fact, um, uh, that I keep in my truck with me all the time. So I do always have it with me too, uh, at least nearby. But this is the one that goes in my pocket, and I actually have it hanging here from this uh, P7 suspension clip because I just don't like to have things rattling right around the bottom of my pocket other than my keys. Um, and so I hang this inside the, the actual pocket itself, and I just like that uh, th that ability to do that. And it makes extracting it very easy as well. Um, but uh, uh, just an all-around awesome little multi-tool. Um, what this has over the Micra and why I got this instead of the Micra when I decided I want to get something a little bit smaller was the pliers. The Micra has scissors here. And there's another squirt version, I think, that has scissors as well. I can't remember. Maybe it's the maybe it's just called the S2, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I know there's an ES2, and it's a, it's a, like the electri electrician's version where it's got wire strippers here. Um, but at any rate, this, uh, the PS2 here, P stands for pliers, I'm sure, is definitely the one for me. Because I just like having this pair of pliers on. When I had the Juice S2, that had a nice set of pliers on it. Um, um, and I just wanted to get, when I got the something smaller, I wanted to get the pliers as well because they're just so useful. Um, but anyway, this thing just has, you know, great functionality, great uh tool set in it besides you know your pliers here of course uh and you got right in here you have some um wire uh, cutters basically you could strip with those as well i suppose if you wanted but definitely wire cutters um you also have and there's a whole list of uh of stuff on their website about all these are um nice thing about this is this has um a very functional set of of Scissors here, better scissors actually than you find on the uh, classic on the Victorinox classic. Um, uh, really nice set of scissors. Uh, it also has the screwdrivers. Here's this one's the uh, the Phillips actually are very tiny flat, but it's really meant as a Phillips and it's kind of a, like a two dimensional <laughs> Phillips screwdriver, um, which is very useful. And a flathead over here, standard with a uh, bottle opener, cap lifter, whatever you want to call it. Um, very uh, functional there as well. On this side, we have a file. We have a wood file and a metal file. Not sure which one is which, actually, but either way, uh, you know, this file comes in handier. <laughs> I use this file. I've used this file to, to do knife repairs. I've used it to do daily, all kinds of other daily tasks, but it's amazing. It's like when you just kind of need a little file. I remember even filing some uh, my card of scale that I had that I was trying to get it, make it look a little uh, more vintage and a little rougher around the edges. I was filing the edges with this to kind of, you know, give it that... Uh, that 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 scratchy not scratchy not the right word um but that um kind of i don't know that vintage kind of roughed up look to it um <laughs> so it worked for that and of course then you have a blade on here um the uh the, the leatherman come the, the, the excuse me the squirt comes with a uh, chisel grind which i hate um so i put it on the wicked edge and reprofile it to a v grind I think it's 420HC steel that they make these uh, blades out of, um, which is, a, you know, for considering the format, is a fine steel. 
um, you know, adequate. Steel, I guess, maybe is a better way to put it. Um, and to be honest, I, it is very sharp. So like I said, I put it on the wicked edge and sharpened it up. But it's not, this isn't a blade I really use much, frankly. It's at least the third blade I have on me. And maybe depending on if I have a multi-bladed traditional, it might be the fourth, fifth, or sixth blade I have on me um, at any given time. Um, and I just don't really use this much. I could for whatever, I just don't. Um, I guess if there was some real unsavory task I needed a knife to do, maybe this is what I would do it with. If it, you know, assuming it was big enough. Um, I just it's the fact that this has a knife is good. Don't get me wrong, I love knives, but it's not it's not that big of a deal. If it was, if this did not have a knife in it, I still would own one. If this knife blade snapped off here um, tomorrow, I'd still carry it. If I forgot to take this out of my pocket and I went to the uh, airport and I was going to have to turn it over. If I could just snap the blade off and keep it, I would. You know, if they would let me do that, I would just do that instead. And maybe they would still take it because you know it. Probably, this is these scissors are probably deadly weapons. Or gosh, it's got a file on it. Who knows what carnage I could do on an airplane with that? Uh, anyway, um, the fact that it has a blade is great, but it's not all that super important to me. It's just the the tool function of this thing is amazing, and its size and its and its weight and its just usefulness is just what I love. Another aspect that. Um, I don't know if this is even by design, but these uh, the head of these pliers is so well machined that it makes an excellent set of tweezers. Um, I actually went out of my way to buy a, a nice uh, keychain uh, capable, carryable set of tweezers, uh, what was considered to be a pretty nice little uh, set of tweezers um, from uh, County Calm. And uh, frankly, and it's a real needle point, um, which is okay for certain things, but for just general tweezer function, this actually is better. Uh, I used to carry the county count tweezers on my keychain, and I actually took them off of there because I found myself going to this 85% of the time anyway. So I just took those off my keychain and put them in my EDC bag. Um, so I do have the tweezers, like I said, uh, with all the stuff in my EDC bag nearby pretty much all the time. Um, but, uh, but as far as in my pocket... This thing does the uh, tweezer function. Frankly, this thing is just kind of replaced the Victorinox Classic. It's like, you know, on steroids. I mean, it's it does everything the Victorinox Classic could do, except for a toothpick, which, you know, I never really found much use for the Victorinox Classic and the, uh, for, for its toothpick, for the Victorinox Classic's toothpick, other than um, its ability to fall out and get lost. Um, but the tweezers on the Victorinox Classic are, are nice, but again just as capable, I think, and uh, maybe even a little bit better. I mean, from a tweezing perspective, I think these are actually better. Um, so this this does everything the Victorinox Classic does and does it better. It's got better scissors. Um, it's got better files. Uh, the knife it, blade on it is easily as good, and it's got all these other tools that I mentioned as well. Um, uh, you can typically buy these for about $25 to $30. If you're paying $30, you're overpaying. Probably shop around. You can get for $25, $26 bucks usually uh, pretty much any day of the week. Uh, $28 bucks max maybe. Um, uh, but if you're um, if you're wily, you can pay attention and uh, pick a used one up on, on eBay for anywhere between $15 and $20 bucks usually. Uh, you may have to wait through, you know, wait out a uh, an auction to pick it up at $15 ish. Uh, you know, and get lucky and win an auction for around that price. Uh, sometimes I'll see them with buy it nows for eighteen ninety nine or something like that. And if you see that and it looks like it's a it's a good tool and otherwise good shape, um, you know, pick it up because you're 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 doing pretty well. I scored a amazing deal with the an amazing deal with this one. Um, I uh, saw it up on uh, on eBay one day and it was had a starting bid of uh, ten dollars with free shipping. So I think I put in twenty. I think I was willing to pay, or no, probably eighteen. I think because I, yeah, I think I was willing to pay eighteen. So I put in eighteen as my max bid. Opening bid was ten bucks, and I was the only guy that bid on it. I got it for ten bucks, free shipping. Uh, might be the best butt Leatherman Squirt PS4 on the planet. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess some of those guys that buy them from the uh, TSA. Uh, uh, confiscation bins that probably get screaming deals but at 10 bucks regardless i'm really happy with it uh it's just a great all-around um multi-tool uh if you know if i if, if i was if i had a job outdoors or if i did stuff that was more um for a living that was more uh that required more tool maybe i would carry a uh, um go back to carrying my my juice s2 or move 
further up the line of uh, capability and size and weight and, and, and tool count of, uh, um, of the Leatherman lineup. But for my daily EDC office tasks and just general life tasks, this little Leatherman Squirt PS4 is just the, an essential EDC item for me. Heck, I was even up on the roof of our cabin one time uh, and was uh, doing some work up there and I needed to do, I needed to f make a fix on, on our chimney and I needed a pair of pliers. I pulled this out, grabbed a hold of what I needed to do, peeled whatever it was I needed to do uh, back and held it while I did whatever I had to do and affected the repair with my $10 Leatherman multi-tool. So, uh, you know, just an incredibly functional little tool. Like I say, you can pick them up at a very reasonable price. Take a look at them. If, again, it's just an essential EDC item for me. Um, I know a lot of guys, and I'm going to catch some flack for this, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. A lot of guys like the Victorinox Cadet, and they think that's just the great one. Um, and and I I got buddies that, and you guys know who you are, that tell me, oh, you got to get one, you got to get one. And I know, but this does everything that I need it to do, that I need to do that Victorinox doesn't really offer me anything that this doesn't already do so I just can't seem to convince myself to buy one this is in my in in for my money this is the best this and something like this oops a uh, little triple-a flashlight this particular one's the Maritac um, uh, the Rev 3, the newest one. Um, I did buy another one. I lost one. I said I wasn't going to rebuy it because they're kind of pricey, but I did. Um, anyway, that those two items I probably use, physically use more than any other than my phone, um, probably use more than any other item. Even my knives. I mean, I don't cut as much stuff as I do as I use a multi-tool for between pliering and in the tweezer thing and, and, and a file and the screwdrivers and the bottle opener and the whatnot and the flashlight. I use this thing all the time. I'm mean, gonna I should probably do a separate video just on how useful a, a little flashlight truly is. Until you carry one of these, you just don't realize how useful it is. But that's a whole nother video. So um back to the uh, Leatherman PS4 here, uh the squirt. Just an all around essential EDC item for me. Uh guys, if you um don't own one of these, wow, you should because it is truly a great little tool um if i lost this right now if this vanished i would stop filming this video get on ebay and buy another one right now i mean instantly if i lost it i would instantly buy a new one i wouldn't even wait to see if i found it because i wouldn't want to be without it any longer than i absolutely had to and if i have to if i did find it all the better anyway guys as you can tell i really love my little uh leatherman squirt ps4 so obviously that's one all two cents Keep the change. Slauncha.